He owns the Super Bowl champs. But just weeks after this year's big win, New England Patriots owner Robert Kraft was charged with soliciting sex. And now for the first time, he's breaking his silence. In a statement just released, he says, I am truly sorry. I know I have hurt and disappointed my family, my close friends, my co-workers, our fans, and many others who rightfully hold me to a higher standard. The public apology comes a month after the charges that stem from a prostitution sting at this day spa in Jupiter, Florida. He's pled not guilty to the charges. Now he's defending his reputation. Throughout my life, I have always tried to do the right thing. I have extraordinary respect for women. Much of this case is built around surveillance video from the spa that has not been publicly released. The billionaire may never have to go to court if he accepts a plea deal. Admitting the evidence, including the videos taken, would have been enough to convict him. The deal also includes community service, sexually transmitted disease screening, and fines. No word on if he'll take the plea. The whole incident, a distraction, as NFL owners are gathering tomorrow for their annual meeting. The league will look at what the end result is here because the league has a code of conduct. And the code of conduct applies to both players and to owners. And owners have been suspended as well as numerous players in the past. Kraft, meanwhile, looking for redemption, saying in his statement, I hope to regain your confidence and respect. This as his legacy remains in question. Tammy Leitner, NBC News. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.